Pepper. Mitchell's hurt real bad. I'm coming right over. No, you don't need to come over. I'm coming. Pepper, no! He's coming over. See? Kind of panicked. <sighs> you did panic, Cam. You panicked real bad. Mitchell, come on, we're gonna be late. Uh, I can't believe we have to do this. Come on, after the earthquake, it might be nice to be around similarly dressed people. That makes no, th the earthquake. Okay, okay, yes, yes, this, okay, this is the perfect excuse. Why, we're fine. Yeah, but Pepper doesn't know that. You'll just tell him that we have some damage we have to deal with. Why me? Because I'm the one that always cancels. No, do not hand me that. I will oh, not talk to him. No, I'm a bad liar, on, do not hand me that. Oh, you're God. doing it, do it. Hello? Hi, Pepper. Listen, hi, hey, it's Cameron. How are you doing over there? Great. Well, the earthquake. Yeah, it was huge here. So obviously we're not we're not gonna be able to make it. Why not? Well, some dishes broke. And you can sweep them up later. And uh, well, yeah, I guess I guess we could sweep those up um, later. Our uh, our our hat rack our hat rack fell through the window. Hat rack. Well, we, yeah, we do have a hat rack. We thought it would force us to wear our hats more, and it oh. did. And there's water damage. There's water everywhere. A bookshelf fell on Mitchell's leg. Mitchell's hurt, Pepper. Mitchell's hurt real bad. I'm coming right over. No, you don't need to come over. I'm coming. Pepper, no! He's coming over. See? Kind of panicked. <sighs> you did panic, Cam. You panicked real bad. What are you doing? Well, you promised Pepper broken dishes, so... I'm breaking dishes. No, not my frog. I know you think it's tacky, but I happen to have won this at my first 4-H summer camp in a hollering contest. Well, we wouldn't have to break anything if you were a better liar. If you're trying to make me feel bad about not being as good a liar as you, what are you doing? A hat rack fell through the window, remember? One, two, three. Mitchell, wait. I, I, I can't do this. I quit. You might be comfortable with all this lying, but I'm not. Oh, please. Where was all this conscience when I got us into the first class lounge at the airport and you chewed Angela Lansbury's ear off? You know what you are? You're like a mob wife. You look down at me and my ways, but you're happy to wear the mink coat that fell off the back of the truck. How dare you. <gasps> I know, I know, it really hit us bad. No, I'm just always surprised how small this place is. Pepper, you didn't have to leave your party to come check on us, great costume, by the way. This isn't my costume. I just threw this on to help you clean up. Well, about your party. Oh, don't worry about canceling. At least you have an excuse. Unlike Stephen and Stefan, they said they had the flu. Meantime, I just saw them out riding their bicycle. Oh, Pepper, that is horrible. I, I'm gonna make you a cocktail. Oh, honey, don't go to any trouble. I'll just have a Kia Royale. <laughs>